guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about meal prep and some meal ideas and some of my favorite snacks. So some of this is my go-to, some of it's new, some of it's things that I just have ate randomly, but I'm trying to be better about meal prep so I'm not walking around my kitchen just like not knowing what to eat for the day or for the week. So I'm trying to be better at making sure I have good nutrition, good carbs, lots of protein in my diet. So. Let's get started and I will show you guys what I have done to meal prep my week for this week. This is also going to be, I'm going to try to make sure this is a consistent thing. The meals may change, um, but this is what I have meal prepped for this week and these are some of my favorite things to eat. So let's get started. So quinoa has become one of my absolute favorite go-tos to put with almost any meal that I make. And you're gonna take two cups of quinoa and this is a great source of carbs as well as protein. So the next thing we're going to do is add two cups of water. And then we're going to put it on the stove and cook for about 15 minutes. So once the quinoa is done, I'm going to get a container. And I'm going to put it in one container. And that way it is prepared and ready for any meal and any meat that I want to put it with during the week. So then I'm going to take the remainder and make a quinoa black bean salad. I'm going to take one can of black beans, which is a great source of fiber as well as a great source of protein. So I'm going to store the quinoa in a container and then I will take the can of black beans and I will just mix those in. So you're just gonna stir that around and then you have your quinoa black bean salad. If you wanna add a little salt or pepper, that's fine too. And then you're just going to take it and you're going to put a lid on it and store it in the fridge. And there is another meal for the week planned out. So up next is a sweet potato and they are a good carb and just packed full of nutrients. So what I like to do is wash it and then put it in aluminum foil, roll it up, and then put it in the oven and you'll bake it for about an hour and a half. So once it is finished, I take it out of the aluminum foil and I will just cut it in half. As you can see, it's nice and soft, perfect. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually peel the skin off and I just stick it on the aluminum foil I took it out of. So I just peel that off and I store the sweet potato in a container. And I do that to both halves. I love to do this and prepare my sweet potatoes the day before or a few days before just because they stay so soft and they're perfect and it's quick and easy and ready to go when I want it the next day. So up next is my absolute favorite meal and it is fried rice. And I take mixed vegetables that I just get out of the freezer section. And I also take brown rice, which is a good, healthy carb. And I just do two cups of brown rice. And then you just add two cups of water. And this is seriously one of my favorite meals. I'm not a huge vegetable person, but I absolutely love this meal. I can eat it with or without meat. It is just my absolute favorite. So then you just wanna add as much vegetables as you want. I usually do about two cups. I feel like that's plenty. Um, you can add just a little extra um, in there if you'd like. And then I take a teriyaki sauce. Um, it is so good. I do about two tablespoons of this. Um, just season it as much as you like with it. And then you're gonna put it on the stove and just fry it up. Then I also cook an egg and then I just add that in and then I'm just gonna stir that around. So just mix that around as it cooks and then you're gonna get your salt and your pepper and I like to add a little bit of that. Then it is all finished. I also usually add more teriyaki sauce as I'm cooking it as well, just um, to season it a little bit more. And it is ready to go. So just add it into your containers and you are set for a few days. This is literally one of my absolute favorites. I eat it almost every day. Up next are my favorite snacks. An apple and a banana are two of my absolute favorites. An apple with peanut butter is literally my go-to snack. I absolutely love apples and I'm obsessed with peanut butter. Um, 
My favorite ice cream is actually chocolate peanut butter. So literally anything with peanut butter is my favorite. So an apple with peanut butter is just my absolute go-to snack. Plus you get a little extra protein as well. You got this is my absolute favorite snack, breakfast, sometimes lunch. I absolutely love it. So I always take like a cup of this granola and I add a cup of that. And then I like to, I have switched to almond milk, which I'm obsessed with. It's so good. I just do the unflavored. And I add a half a cup of that as well. You can add a banana to it if you want. This stuff is so good. You will be addicted. So up next, if you want an overnight breakfast idea, just something quick, grab it out of the fridge and go. This is it. So you're going to take a half a cup of uncooked oats and a half a cup of almond milk and mix it in and then you're going to add as much cinnamon to your taste as you'd like a tablespoon teaspoon however much you'd like um, I just kind of poured mine in and then you add about a teaspoon to tablespoon of maple syrup as well just to your taste then mix in your milk and then you are just going to take a spoon and stir it around just mix it up put the lid on it and you're able to just pop that in the fridge. So my favorite protein, these are my go-tos, it's the Premier Protein Chocolate Shake and the Premier Protein Chocolate Peanut Butter Bar. You get 30 grams of protein for each one. They are my go-tos and delicious. So everything is prepared for the week. I have everything in their containers and ready to go. So all I have to do is pop it out, warm it up, and I'm good to go. So just pop that in the fridge and you're prepared for the week. I'm somebody who likes to eat probably the same thing like all the time. So I have tried to branch out and eat some different things that are good and healthy for you. Um, I kind of stick with something like if I eat grilled chicken um, and, you know, quinoa or beans or rice, I kind of stick with it for a while. Um, just until I'm sick of it, um, but I, I kind of don't get sick of things too too easily. Um, so, but those are usually like when I have something I like, I stick with it, and I just that's what I do. So, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope that the meal prep kind of helps you and helps you see how I do things and how I get prepared, um, as well as seeing um, different meal ideas and snacks that are good for you and different things that are good in good nutrients, good carb, lots of protein. So lots of things that are really good for you. Things you wanna make sure you have in your daily diet. So I hope this video was helpful. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.